Hey, I'm Josh Berry for the Giant Factory Off-Road Team, and this is the new Revolt Advanced Pro. Gravel racing is way more competitive, and we knew we needed to change quite a bit. We were able to develop a bike that's the lightest Revolt. It is more competitive, it's more compliant, it's efficient, it's more responsive. We have a lower bottom bracket, longer top tube, and a steeper head tube angle. While efficiency is key, compliance is critical to the performance as well. The biggest difference in racing these days is the speed, and hitting all of these rocks going way faster means we need more compliance while retaining that efficiency, and we've been able to execute that here. A lot of people with the idea of these long races are concerned about what their seat's doing and what their hands are doing. Those are big fatigue points. With defuse technology, it gives us compliance to stay seated longer, saving the rest of our body so we can sprint when we need to go and feel more comfortable in the long end and be able to get on our bike the next day and go out and adventure. And right here, I'm running the defuse post. You can also run a round 30.9 post as well, which would give you an even stiffer feedback. But the big bonus of that is running a dropper post with the added capabilities of the lower bottom bracket, the bigger tires, and then you throw on a dropper post, we're gonna be having way more fun on these things. And you're gonna take the gravel bike to the next level. When I was giving feedback on this new Revolt, the number one thing for me was the lower bottom bracket. I wasn't finding myself trying to pedal around corners. I just wanted to go faster with more grip. And we dropped it dramatically, and it is awesome. It has changed how I handle on this bike. The next thing I wanted was better handling on the road and on the rough stuff, and I knew that required adjustability. The flip chip technology, I can change the geometry by a full centimeter, and that gives me the ability to run way bigger tires when I need to, and I find myself doing that more and more often. I'm able to run 53C tires. I mean, when we're talking about clearance on this bike, it is ridiculous. Do you look at this thing? There's just all the space. I can put my hand in there. I'm running a 42C tire right now. When you're on the plains of Kansas, and then you're in the mountains of Idaho or Oregon, any of the Rocky Mountains, it's a completely different terrain. And that one centimeter of adjustment is what makes a difference. It changes it from having a huge tire to a smaller tire, and it changes how it handles. And having one bike that can do that efficiently is awesome. The new fork is great. Where you put the front end, it's going. There are some cool updates with being able to put a standard bottle cage on the fork mounts. And if you're like me, who spends a lot of time in the desert, I'm able to go on way longer rides. And we've also added this accessory spot on the top tube. I really like that as well, because then I'm carrying more things, I'm going a bit further, and if I want to go bike packing, I want to race longer, whatever it is, I have options. And let's remember that we added all these options while taking weight off the frame. For me, with this new bike, it's gotten really personal. I used to have to pay people to make me bikes with all these things added to it. And Giant came to me and asked what I wanted. And here it is. It's more responsive, more compliant, lighter, more accessories, more clearance, and accessible to everybody. I'm really stoked on this new bike.